Adam is absolutely correct. We have a jam-packed, very special episode of X-Play today. But first of all, welcome to Speed Run the News, your weekly hit of everything in the gaming world that is happening. Now, we've got a lot to cover and only a little bit of time to do so. So let's get started. Our first story is this past Sunday, amidst a wave of disappointed Chiefs, there was one that did emerge victorious, Master Chief. During the American Football Conference Championship game, let's go Rams, Paramount Plus de debuted the latest trailer for their upcoming Halo show. Now, while they won't follow the games to a T, the trailer did provide us with our first look at energy swords, the Covenant aliens, warthogs, and even Cortana herself. Now, before we share our thoughts, we'll toss it to you guys' chat right after the end of this B-roll about how hyped are you guys for this new Halo show? Let us know on the poll on the bottom of your screen. I'm sure we'll have a very diverse opinion selection here. <laughs> I'm sure it won't end up in one category. But now I'm gonna kick it over to TBH as I open the floor because I can see that, that dead zone fall over your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I went on the over to me. He was like this. He was like, <laughs> and, and listen, listen, I got, I got a resting bitch face. I got to get over that, okay? It's, but I'm not actually <laughs> mad. <laughs> I'm not actually mad. I just be chilling. Um, the show looked okay to me. There were moments where like it looked like a very high production, and then there were other moments. I was just talking to Lefner behind it where it looked kind of like Sci-Fi Channel. So it's kind of in the middle to me. Yeah. <laughs> where like I, early, early galact galactic. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I'm not mad at it because it is a TV show. It's only so much they can do with the budget. But I feel like it might be okay. It's better than what I thought we were gonna get from it. And I'm still not gonna pay for Paramount Plus. Uh, so if anybody, if anybody in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat has a password, he needs your login. If I you need to share it. I, hey, yo, I put it in the yeah. X-Play group chat. Who got the password? Nobody hit me up. So somebody in the chat, I, I who got it? Paramount Plus is the one service I don't use. Otherwise, I'd give it to you. Who me. does? <laughs> yeah. So I need to let everyone know that Meh won, which. <laughs> <laughs> what? So that was projection. About right. That was projection on yeah. the V. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but anyway, anyone else want to be tossed in the ring? Well, we got like thirty seconds more I, by I, here. I I don't think it looked that bad. I, uh, I, I, it didn't look any worse than The Mandalorian or uh, uh, Boba Friends, and <laughs> uh, just in terms of. It's just, it's just fun to say. It's just fun. Oh, my friends. <laughs> I guess my but, issue um, is the video game adaptation part, Adam. Like, I agree with you, but yeah. the problem is, is that, like, you're putting very different things in a category of, like, Boba Friends and <laughs> the Halo. Well, the, 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 I, I think that's the thing, is that for whatever reason, the fact that they release the trailer and they come out and say it's not canonical kind of like they're clearly trying to cut something off of the past like there's a fun thing to be done in the world of halo but to adapt the video game as it is into a, 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 a tv show i think would suck it would be pretty boring and I, I i have a little more hope that they have stuff to play with i don't think people will like it because it's a video game adaptation, and it's it, it's it's like it's like Tolkien on steroids. Everyone is like, "Where, where's Tom Bombadil?" Blah blah blah, blah. and it's yeah. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll probably watch it and not talk about it with anybody. Uh, yeah, I think uh, through the osmosis of sitting near GB, Golden Boy, Big Halo fan, uh, specifically the <laughs> books as well, which I find very interesting because unlike other video game, game adaptations like The Witcher, although The Witcher did bastardize Start as a book. those books <laughs> in its iteration of it, I'm actually curious if Halo will maybe follow the novels and not so much the video games and maybe hit like a different demographic there, but I don't know. Was that your scale of excitement from not interested to Golden Boy? Yeah. <laughs> it's That's actually amazing. very That's decent. amazing. You're either, you're either connected or not at all. That's the kind of what it is. So. Well, it's, 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 it's how I judge video games. It's either Dark Souls or Fortnite. I thought you were like that's, Star that's Star the Star scale. Star or Golden Boy. <laughs> okay, guys, get ready to start your hype engines. The first 2022 PlayStation State of Play is happening tomorrow, February 2nd, and will focus mainly on Gran Turismo 7. Now, Rumors have been circulating regarding the state of this upcoming title, so hopefully we'll get some answers soon, aka within 24 hours soon. And of course, chat, what else do you want to see in the state of play? Uh, or the next, I'm assuming Ragnarok's release date, new exclusive announcements, The Last of Us standalone multiplayer, or anything Ape Escape. Please God, Ape Escape. Now tell us via the poll appearing on your screen now. You know what I'm voting for. 
To be clear, internet at home, everyone watching this, let's just remember that if tomorrow's event is about Gran Turismo, then chances are tomorrow's event is about Gran Turismo. Because the last time, the last <laughs> time they did this, the last time they did this, I sound like a crazy person, but the last time they said they were doing a state of play, they said they were focusing only on, uh, what was it? Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And everyone was like, where are the other games? And it's like, well, they told us in advance that they're gonna focus specifically on one title. So if we don't see more than, than Gran Turismo, don't be surprised. If we do see more of the Gran Turismo, then yay, we can be surprised. The chat wants to see Ape Escape, so they're at least lined with me. They get it, can, they get it. Can, 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 can we discuss what I think is really important here? They're not apes. I love the franchise. <laughs> He's they so are serious. serious. He's so Those serious. are monkeys. <laughs> At best, they're chimpanzees. They do have tails. But they tails, are not so apes. They the are not silverback gorillas in the hill country on the border of Rwanda and that other place. <laughs> it's just like, 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 like they're, 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 they're probably monkeys, and so they're not even from the African continent then. Unless it's Madagascar, which isn't part of the continent, but it's an island sitting, you know, uh, off there, and those aren't even monkeys. They're the other ones. This whole conversation uh, is bananas. They're kind of monkeys. <laughs> yeah. But, um, uh, speaking of GTA 7, though, or, yeah, Grand Turismo. Grand Turismo, GT7, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to slap, because are you guys Forza fans? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not into big into sim racers. I just go outside and drive. Even if you don't like sim <laughs> racing, which Forza is more of a simcade game, mm -hmm. just, it's okay. No, I'm sorry. Why do you have that face? It just stresses me out, TBH. <laughs> it works. That's why. I, I was just like, what? I was going to say, Gran Turismo needs to slap because Forza was so good. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. That makes sense. What about you? Are you a big fan of it? Uh, not really. Um, I, guys, I just... I like retro video games and indie games. I'm the guy that's like gonna be playing Mario 50 years from now. So I'm the boring. The hipster of video games drawer. I'm boring. Sorry. But I mean, why drive a Lamborghini? We get those jump. tortoise shells and stuff. Like that's more fun than me. Car racing. Guys, I, my producer's telling me, please God, move on. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of Sony, you guys knew we were going to talk about it. The game of Acquisitions Conquest. Now, just yesterday, Sony announced their intentions to acquire Bungie for $3.6 billion. Now, as of right now, Bungie is currently working on maintaining Destiny 2, expanding the Destiny franchise, and developing a brand new IP. Now, additionally, Sony has stated that Bungie will remain a multi-platform studio with the option to self-publish and reach players wherever they choose. So, okay, chat, it's your time again. Which studio do you think will be the next in this game of acquisitions? My money's actually on Sega. My money is, however, is on whoever is the Stark family of gaming. Okay, we're working on the prompter, Leffler, come on. But let us know your thoughts in the poll now. So, I've seen a narrative online that some people were pushing that it felt like this was a panic buy. For um for Sony because because the whole just panic buy three point six billion dollars. But the, okay, this like, is, but, well, I, oh my god, that's, that's the point division. I was gonna oh make. My god. That's the point I was gonna make. I was like, this you, you can't move billions of dollars overnight. This is something that they had in the Unless works for Unless you're Microsoft a while. and you it, buy in cash. Okay, okay. It just hit. <laughs> it just didn't hit the same because of the, the timing was really bad, and that's what happened. I think. But go ahead. Uh, I, I I mean I I I I think it's a mixture of the two. They were clearly, you're absolutely right. You don't just kind of say, I want to buy you two weeks ago and that you closed for 3.6. But I think the discussions were there, but the Activision announcement, this is what I've been hearing, accelerated things. The reason why I think there's mm -hmm. credibility to that is Bungie comes out of this smelling like roses. I mean, not only, like, this thing is so overvalued, I just can't get my head wrapped around it. Like, that's not a $3.6 billion company. Even if they have unannounced IP, that's untested. Like, it's just, and, and Destiny 2 in and of itself just isn't worth that. On top of the fact that somehow they get to self-publish and they retain their own board of directors. I mean, this is like a win-win-win. So like complete props to Pete Parsons and everything like that. But this does not sound like a kind of deal with, I mean, Sony is large. Bungie is not as large as Sony. And wow, Bungie just really looks great coming out of this. Uh, my, my best guess is whatever these other projects are, 
one of them is like the next Fortnite. Like it's like, and, and that's where the multi-platform. I, I, I would definitely look at how they're parsing the words there. Never does the word Xbox get said. Destiny Two will probably live on on the Xbox, but multi-platform. And this is why you go to Fortnite is Android. It's Apple. It's it, you know you know it, it's it's something of that. You know, it, it'll, it'll be that large, not it's going to be on the Switch and it's going to be on the Xbox. Well, chat, will we get six more months of insane video game news winter or is it a calmer video game spring just around the corner? I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we see Gex Mantha's shadow. And yeah, it's exactly how we at X-Play do it. Or should we say... Ground Gex Day. Oh my lord. Gex Hog Day. It's a no for me. I dog. didn't write this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stick I around because we've got more X Play on the way. <laughs>